season six, by the way, is called Heroes March, and it will release on May 17th. After that, we will show you the upcoming uh, hero reworks that are coming in season six. So, <laughs> next guy, Dio Rochi. Yes, they're changing him, and they're changing the way Riptide Strike works. That means you won't be able to dodge this. So Frona Season 6 just came out, and instead of giving us some new characters, they decided they wanted to rework Orochi and Peacekeeper. Don't really know how I feel about this, to be honest. I'd rather some new characters. And they reworked the characters that are currently in the game. But, you know, here we are. So they have the new Orochi Peacekeeper reworks. Orochi's rework seems to be pretty nice, pretty fucking dirty, pretty juicy, you know, pretty, like, in there. The Peacekeeper one, she just feels like a bit of a worse shaman, to be honest. They they gave her a few of these shaman moves and all that, and made her heavies way weaker than they were, which is a fucking great thing, because they're ridiculous. How you doing the same damage as fucking Highlander, you little stupid fucking armor. So the Orochi rework, what did they do? They gave him a few new chains, they changed his Riptide Strike, his Storm Rush can come out from any direction, now it's fucking pandemonium. It's crazy. But I'm not going to do one of these R1, R1, R2 videos, nah, none of that. What we're going to do is get straight into it. What's new with the Orochi? What's good with him now? Fucking light spam. Round one. So this first fight, pre-recorded, I'm not live commentating this one. This is me against another Orochi to give you a little bit of a mirror match to see how that goes. So because of the new Orochi rework, it kind of makes the Orochi fights a little bit more messy. So there's a lot more light spamming, a lot more zones getting thrown in, top lights, all of that sort of shit. So it does look a little bit more messy than it used to. I used to say that Orochi had the best looking mirror match in the game. But as you can see, it's a little bit sloppy like. You don't really see this in a lot of mirror matches where they're getting a lot of lights in. It does make them a lot of fun, but it also creates this weird dynamic where good players are getting beat by shit players because you're thinking too much. Shit players are just throwing out riptide strikes willy-nilly, not caring of the consequences. Our slower, more methodical players, we like that to you know, switch shit up. See, light attacking just works. It just goes through with Orochi for some reason. Nobody's really come to terms with how quick his lights are, especially his second one, because they cut it down. Everything got cut down by, I think, 100 milliseconds. So his lights are just fucking lightning quick. Bah. 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 Round three. So you see that storm rush coming out from the left side there, dirty now, dirty keeps people guessing. And you can change it right at the last second as well, so they have to react to it. A lot of people these days, they're just light attacking to stop you from getting in with it. But, you know, every move's got its fucking weird little counters. I'd say that Orochi, with his new moveset, is kind of kind of weak to, to like a guard break spammy type character. Like, a lot of raiders have been getting me recently because I'm trying to riptide strike or his dodge property move or try and get into storm rush and of course you get fucking guard broken to shit for that so now i'm gonna cut to some live footage of me playing this new evil orochi the chaotic evil so in an alignment chart you'll see orochi chilling with shaman and shigoki and where he belongs <laughs> <laughs> guy got geezered or something. Why is he dead? <laughs> Can't go down that, please. <laughs> that was brutal. That was brutal. I did everything. No, that was going to be big damage. He wants, he wants me dead, so I'm dead. No, I stopped him. <laughs> he comes back so Chase him back one more time. Scar broke so he dodges back. I don't know where I'm at. If I say Garbo so he dodges back, then come get me. Come to the smoke then, dickhead. <laughs> I'm too good at it. I'm too good at it. I'm too good at being evil. I'm telling you, I'm a villain. <laughs> Oh, 
can't run from evil. You can't run. It's always in the back of your mind, niggling at you. Not bombing. He's done. He's done. Not very good at that, are you, mate? <laughs> So now this is a little bit of Kensai footage, as everybody probably knows. Kensai is one of the strongest fucking characters in the game now because, you know, they decided to give him everything, absolutely everything. So, uh, he's a hard fight. The main thing I've learned about fighting Kensai is now is you got to stay, you got to kind of stay at range. It's weird, you got to fight Kensai at range. You got to try and make him whiff his initial lights into uh, his second light, which you can then bait into a parry or... You try and deflect because a lot of Kensai's they initiate from the top because his top light is so fast. A lot of Kensai's will just initiate from that top light a lot. So if you can get that down, you can deflect it. The problem with that is if they suspect that you're going to deflect it, it's easy to either, if you're going to go for a light attack deflect, they can go into some hyper armor, heavy move. So obviously they get the advantage from that damage. Or if you go for the heavy, the heavy uh, deflect punish, they can just dodge out of it and another heavy get fucking slams you in your head. It's ridiculous. So that's probably not your best bet. Your best bet is probably just to parry the top light if you know it's coming. But it's fucking fast. It's a real problem. Right there, you see him bait me into it. Think it Because I thought he was going to go for the top light. I tried to riptide strike it, but got caught. There, there was me baiting him into the light attack parry. And then just keeping him off of that guard break. See, now he's scared. Now he's scared. You've got to have him scared. And then the dodge property meeting, dodge property at dodge property end, fam, you don't know this area. Get out. Yeah, getting hit by a couple of them light attack here, yeah, happen, it'll happen. They're fucking fast off this character. And then they get hyper armor on some of them too, so... Punishing this guy is just dirty little parry there. You see that dodging early to get his mix up caught. He still get you with a light though. Don't, don't, don't think he can't get you with that. This is the character can uh, do everything. Ooh, dirty little heavy into light there, catching him off guard, trying to get them GBs. Heck him. Storm rush there, catching him off the top, then getting him with the double light afterwards. What year is this, mate? What year is this? Three light attacks hitting in a row, fighting him. You see that heavy off the guard there into the light attack? That catches a lot of players off. If you do that quite often, you'll get a lot of players because they don't want to parry the first because you might faint it. So you just run it against their guard, hit them with a the light afterwards, slip straight into them DMs. Trying to catch me with that uh, stamina there did not work, son. Can you survive the light spam? Victory. You cannot. Round one. What happens when you put light spammer with a zone light spammer? Who knows? It's a new fucking era. Glad. Let's go. Right off the rip here, getting hit with some lights, getting baited into a few hits there. Probably got a little bit lucky there that I was resting my guard on the left or I would have got schlepped. Didn't hit him with the fucking dodge property there because I'm an idiot. But feint him into a nice light attack there. Failed that fucking, that guard break punish because I go for the side heavies because I'm fucking stupid and I can't get into my thick brain to reset on top. Don't worry about it. It's still Probably should have hit him with the deflect there, but the fucking riptide strike will do. Toe stabs always getting you. Always getting you. Bait, baited into the light fucking parry there. Nice and... Oh, two neat light parries in a row. Jesus. But put himself out of stamina there, trying to get his own attack off. And 
unlucky shot. But and there you go. Orochi has no out of stamina punish. So uh, just reset to neutral most of the time. But there he is, low health into the storm rush. Will he guess right? Oh, the dirty fucking dodge into those. Damn. Come here. It's crazy out here. It's a new era. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Orochi standing up from his pigeon position. Probably should have gone the, for the deflect there too since he done it every single time. Oh, just getting fucked up here. Oh, look at that. Oh, getting baited into absolutely everything. Here we go, on the offensive. Keep him guessing. Pat, pat to the top. That's it, look. And look at the damage Orochi can output. Now he's on the fucking defensive. Hit him with the undodged. Bull wind the light, you can't run from it. Will this be it? This is ace. Oh, there you go. Making me think he's gonna come in with a quick. Came in with a slow instead. Got punished for it with a top the top light, the double top light. Look at the light he's look at the light he's coming at tonight. Getting caught with some dirty dodge catches. That top light is so nice when you hear it. Look at that. Filthy. And then he just goes down in from it. Yeah. Defeat indeed. But you can't lose faith. You can't be demoralized. You look this glad in his eye and you say, final round. I'm fresh as the first. Hit him with a dirty rippy. Keep him on the back foot. Pat, pat with a top. Woo! Slick little dodge. Probably should have just attacked there and got the spin, but keep him off ya. Keep him off ya. Who says that fucking Orochi has got no neutral game now, son? And to finish this off, I've got two fights left. One with a lower bringer and one with a Kensai. Both high rep, both high skill, both highly dead. Don't want to spoil it, but like, just... Continue watching under. If you like the video hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more more is coming this new for Honor updates got my ass rejuvenated so expect to see a peacekeeper video coming soon other than that people peace